Hey, what's up, people? In today's video, I wanted to reset the Galaxy Note 4 back to its stock ROM. I reset it a while back and I've been using it like that for some time, but I just wanted to show how to do that so that so that if anybody wants to do that, they can, you know, go back to stock Android 6, which is not so bad, actually. Now, for the beginning, uh, all the files, I'm going to be using Odin for this and and just go through the whole process all the files that all the locations where i downloaded the files from will be in the description that's a good video for just educational purposes when you're selecting you just start you you all the files will be presented within the will be presented within the the stock firmware that you download so the the bl the ap the cp and the csc and you all you need to do is just go select them in Odin after downloading it, of course. Just select it and and just let the process go. Now, once you select BL, it, that one is a bit smooth, it's fast. But now if you select the AP, it will take some time because it's a huge file. It's like it contains the system and all those stuff. So it will take some time to load up. But once it loads up, everything should be good if it loads up. No, don't try to load up. It loads up and then you can go on to the next part and then select the CP, then select the CSC. Uh, there is something about the CSC that if you, I, I think it depends on the file that you've got, the file that you've downloaded for the firmware. That one does not like erase the device for I think that's how it's built. So the home CSC does not erase the device and then the CSC erases the device. So right now I I only have CSC, so that's what I'm going to be using. We just erase the whole device and then go, go on from there. And I think it should, it should also be okay since we are erasing, we are resetting the device. We might as well just use the CSC and then we go. Now with the whole flashing process, if you use, if you're running a stock firmware like we have been, you've been using a lineage or something like that or any custom ROM, and you've been running it. In order to reset to to stock ROM, all you need is the AP. So I I also use the AP at first, but the AP it resets from from custom ROM to it resets from custom ROM to stock ROM. But now if you're on stock ROM and you really want to reset everything on your device, then you just uh, then you just use the, the then you just use the the real the, the you have to select all the files. Now once you've selected everything and everything has loaded up properly, then all you need to do is connect your device. All the four files are selected, connect your device, and then begin the process. And hopefully you're seeing a certain, uh, like a small screen on the at the bottom right, showing the device. So the process will go through properly. Everything will be done, and then everything should be working. There's the phone should just reset and and just go on from there. Now, as it's doing that, I just wanted to explain. I have been off for a year because I wanted to learn web development. Uh, that's something I've always wanted to do. I love building websites. At this point, I love building apps as well. So, and I'm still learning. I'm taking a PHP course, but I do not like PHP so much for some reason. It's like, it's like when I compare, when, when I look at PHP and then look at Next or something like that, I, everything, it's just, I, it's okay anyway i'll learn php and then i decide from there but that's why I, I disappeared for a while i wanted to learn web development and i got it um i now just i, I just love it i i really i really like it building websites I, it's fun i've always loved looking at updates on on anything let's say anything let's say you open an app and you have a new update from whatever it's from i I love that. I really like that. So that's what I've been doing for the past year. And thank you, whoever did not run away or that unsubscribe thingy. 
uh, thank you for staying and and waiting but from now on i want to make sure at least every week i post a video so it's going to be about everything the next one i'm going to do i want to do is just looking how looking at how to live with this phone just living with it seeing whether android 6 can work in 2024 for some reason and then move on to the next, uh, remove the stock and go through the whole process of installing a custom ROM and we move on to our next phone. Our next phone on this channel is going to be the Sony Xperia Z2. So that phone goes until Android version 14. And I want to go through the whole process of doing all the things that you have to do in a ROM before I change. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, but back to this whole thing uh if the once the flashing has been done you would see that the phone automatically is going to reset and it is just going to uh, come on and you know do the whole resetting process i wanted to leave everything the way it is i didn't speed up anything in the video because i wanted you to see how it's going to work if you're anything like me and you get a uh, so before I started doing, I got used to doing these things, I was, I, I, for some reason, I was just scared of it. I thought everything was going to die. But um, you will quickly realize that even if it dies, you will not die. So you just continue. And of course, you have to have that uh, another. But anyway, enough of that. Now, the, the phone, after resetting, just go through the whole, let it go through the whole process of resetting. It will just reboot and sort of show other things, show your Android icon rebooting as it is right now. It is just rebooting everything uh, to go through the process. Once it is done, it will just enter into the phone and everything should be fine from there. Uh, keep waiting. So at this point, everything is new. Everything from the ROM, from the, the recovery, everything. Everything is just new. So we shall have to go through the whole process again of rebooting, uh, installing another ROM. So once it comes on, you just uh, go through the whole process of setting it up. It uh, I got, I have no idea which language this is, but I had to change it to English first in order for me to move around without crying. So, uh, yeah, you just select your language and then you go through the process. It's uh, it's easy to, to just work itself out. You go through the whole thing and then you connect to Wi-Fi, you connect to everything and everything works very well. And uh, I'll also be uh, be testing the SIM card and everything. How, uh, and not, not uh, and the SIM card, whether it, you can still make calls and everything. And my favorite feature, the heart rate monitor. I have no idea whether it still works. I banged this phone so many times on the ground, I, I have no idea. But if it works, that would be so cool. And, uh, and I don't think it's uh, the, the, the readings are going to be accurate in any way, but it will be just, just, just fun to see, you know, just, just fun to see whether it works anyway. So yeah, you just go through the process, set up accounts, what login or whatever, and then yeah, you have your phone ready to go. It sort of comes with this uh, weird wallpaper that I did not. I, I mean, I book wallpapers, but if those 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 icons were a bit those that those white sort of thing is on the wallpaper were a bit smaller maybe it will be nice but yeah that wallpaper really needs to go but we shall change that later so that's it we are back to stock chrome and everything works very well uh you can uh, just to check we are going to go and check the android version just to confirm that um this is actually stock chrome and not another you know another uh, custom rom though for some reason i thought if we go back to stock rom it will be like android version 4 and yet this phone was upgraded to 6 so that's a big 
plus because Android version 4 stopped the internet support some uh, some time ago so yeah I had it I have a tab which cannot do anything else so yes we are running Android version 6 and everything is working very well yeah but that's it okay that's uh